But um, so those videos were just fantastic. And they really explained a lot of how things developed in, in this uh, journey that we've been on. Um, right in 2003, you know, Dean was the guy. And, and Dean really spoke to Barb. And um, he didn't speak to me too much, you know. Was, <laughs> <laughs> but if he spoke to Barbara, he was speaking to me. <laughs> <laughs> so he was speaking to me. And, um, you know, it was 2004 that uh, she did do her first post in July, I think, of 04. And you can kind of go back to that um, place on the blog. I had printed out some interesting statistics of the blog to bring here tonight, and I, of course, left them at home. Um, but, you know, it's something like a million six page views, wow. you know? Yeah. It's, uh, I, think it said, I think if I can remember, 16,000 comments, 7,000 um, posts, you know, for since 04, I mean, that's an average of, I forget, five a day or something like that. I don't know. But it really, she has just taken this thing and just gone, you know, put her whole being into um, trying to uh, affect the country and the world, you know, and through some medium that just happened to be, you know, um, coming on board at that point. And, you know, the word pioneer was used in a little article that I read, and it was like, that's it. It was like a bunch of people were pioneering. There's a woman called Zephyr Teachout that was part of the oh, Dean yeah. Yeah. group. Yeah. And she, um, you know, was like these really smart chicks. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they went for it, you know. So when Dean failed, he told people, buy the domain in your area. So so we did. So Barb did, you know. She said, I'm going to do a blog. I said, okay, honey, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> and she kind of held up in her room for, got a couple of months, and I was like, and, and I knew it was close to being done. I was like, well, are you ever going to launch that? <laughs> ah, you know, wait till it just right. Finally, she launched it, and she's posted, like, every day since then. So pretty, pretty remarkable. Um, and I think we have helped to change things. And, you know, I mean, you know, it's. It's a, um, it's a process of um, teamwork, you know, to the greatest extent. You know, I, I think of what Barbara Grothers was saying about those first meetups. I can remember Mickey Bach standing up, and I thought, who the hell is he? You know? <laughs> and he was yelling and just like, you know, at, at a meetup before we were running them, you know? And because I'd tell him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, um, no, but, you know, we, we inherited it and we kept on going with it. And we've had a lot of, in our relationship as a, as a lesbian couple and doing this, it's been a pretty, pretty weird path for us to take. Um, and we've had our own battles with it, you know. What the hell are you doing now, you know, about so many things that you guys can't even imagine, you know? <laughs> I mean, one that was coming to mind was the night that Carrie got elected. Oh, not Carrie, Carrie lost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, four. Sorry. But we were going to meet up that night, and we got in some horrible argument on the way to meet up. And um, I ended up pulling over to the side of the road, getting out of the car, and walking home. <laughs> and she continued to the meet up to hold it. <laughs> and I had on slippers. Because <laughs> we were so freaking mad with the recount and everything. And um, right, so, you know, it's just been, you know, it's like the roller coaster of life. And, uh, but there's a lot of good stories. And we have, I think we have made changes here, you know? And there's a lot of people that aren't here and I can say, I can, I know why. Because <laughs> God says, man, my, my honey, she has got a mouth on her that she is fearless. <laughs> She's fearless. And she has bit her tongue many times, you know? Because it gets to a point where the calls to the house are a little bit annoying. <laughs> and you wonder whether you're going to come home and the house won't be on fire. <laughs> so it's like, okay, honey, maybe you should back off that one a little bit. But, um, you know, it's all for the better reason. And right now she's really sick. 
And um, but I, I I think the best way to describe it is that she's got a flame that is the size of her whole inner, still glowing in, in her and fighting. And she's uh, I asked her if this would be okay to say, but she's too mean and mad to die. <laughs> It's, it's uh, you know, there's been different words said. It's colon cancer, and it has metastasized, so that's why people say it's liver, but it metastasized to the liver. But I'll tell you what's great is that they have come so far. I didn't know that this was, um, we, we just found out on September 9th. So it hasn't been a long time, and it's just been, whoa, since then. Because she was really failing sick. She was just sick, man. So, um, but she has, uh, you know, what we've learned is that they, they've come a real long way with treating cancer. And um, it's very promising, you know, they, they can douse those fucking multiplying cells <laughs> and um, replenish your body with other things and um, keep down the nausea and, and all this stuff. So, so it's really, you know, I mean, at first it was like, holy shit, oh man. And I'm losing my partner, but I'm not now. You know, we're talking about living. We're talking about life. Okay. Yeah. Going forward, causing trouble, getting more people pissed yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Getting more people to uh, get into office that we really want, too, you know? and. Um, and just holding people accountable, um, shining the light in the dark room and watch the cockroaches squirm, you know? <laughs> was always a good one, that was sad. But um, anyways, I think these guys, and Sissy and um, Peter Molson, Sissy Garcia, Peter Molson, um, Pat Davis being the MC, I see other people here, you know, there's a, there's a legal couple over here that helped sell it. We, we dilly-dallied about our paperwork until we until she was diagnosed and we were like oh my god you know so what are we going to do we got to get everything ordered david rosales over here stepped up and and helped us with all of our paperwork and his partner um and uh, <laughs> and, you know we put an ad up for them and um you know, if you have any legal work or if you're gay or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but two dykes have changed the state a little bit. Yeah. Who would have thought? But, you know, things are different today, too, because of all this work that everyone does, is that we can be in a hospital together and we can have a, a surgeon operating on Barb that doesn't even think twice about oh, what are you doing here, or whatever. You know, so that is really, there's great strides being made on those fronts, and I'm proud of my girlfriend, and thank you guys very, very much for being here. She's gonna get to go. Thanks for the donations, we really need it. We've done the floor for free, you know? We, we've done it for free because it was our calling, it was like, I, you know, we're dykes, we don't have kids, all right? <laughs> we um, are, I was a good architect, I still am a good architect, I love a job if anyone <laughs> is. <laughs> and I haven't been able to find a job, there is no building going on. Um, and then on September 9th, we were going to leave and go to San Francisco. Um, on September 9th, though, we found out this news, so it was like, everything changed, the, the whole world went upside down. So we, uh, with the help of Ed Yoon, he said, man, you guys need help getting some funds, and you have worked so hard, and you know, so Ed also definitely stepped up and just put this together with Sissy and Peter, and um, I just think that, uh, you know, I'm just touched, and, and we need, I hate to, Barb hates to take this money, you know, and, um, but she, but, uh, Right, she's too sick. <laughs> so um, she'll be thrilled with everyone here. Thank you so much. Keep on going to the blog. We're gonna fucking keep it up, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. One more little 
funny story. We were at a fundraiser on the Saturday that her colon blocked recently that she had to get operated on. And um, so we were at a fundraiser for a candidate. And, um, I, and I looked at the pool of girls like, man, I guess chocolate cake, you know? <laughs> so I brought her the piece of the chocolate cake and that was the last thing that she had eaten for like seven days and finally she's eating again. But, you know, Amanda Cooper called to say thanks for things and everything, you know? Uh, and that's Tom Udall's daughter, if people know. And um, it's like, uh, what a great call. And secondly was, I believe it that you guys were there the day that her colon jammed up, you know? <laughs> And uh, she goes, she's probably blogging from the ho from the hospital room. <laughs> and sure enough, she was. She was uh, <laughs> so so she's not quitting. Her flame is huge, you know. She's got a spirit for life. She is not a wallflower on the wall. So everyone just keep uh, just know that there's no giving up, and um, you know, watch out, candidates that don't walk the <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone.